Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 8 to power x times 4 to power x, this is equal to 30. So, what is the value of x? What is the value of x? Now, solution from here, solution, we can express 8 as 2 to power 3, and we can express 4 as 2 to power 2. So substituting this, here we'll have 2 to the power 3 raised to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power 2 raised to the power x. This is equal to 30. So the next step from here, we find that 2 to the power 3 raised to the power x, this is in the form of a raised to the power n raised to the power m, which you can express as a raised to the power n times m. So applying this identity, we'll have here 2 to the power 3x times 2 to the power, this is 2x, this is equal to 30. The next step from here, you find that 2 to the power 3x times 2 to the power 2x, this is in the form of 8 to the power n times 8 to the power m, which we can express as 8 to the power n plus m. So applying this indices identity, here we'll have 2 to the power 3x plus 2x. This is equal to 30. So here we have 2 to the power 3x plus 2x. This is 5x. And this is equal to 30. The next step from here, to solve for the value of x, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have here log 2 to the power 5x. This is equal to log 30. Now you find that log 2 to the power 5x, this is in the form of log a to the power n, which you can express as n log log a. So let's apply this power rule property of logarithm. So that now here, log 2 to the power 5x becomes 5x log 2. This is equal to log 30. So let's divide both signs by rock 2, here by rock 2. So that now if you simplify here, we have that 5x is equal to rock 30 divided by rock 2. The next step from here, we can express 30 as 5 times 6. So from here, we have that 5x, this is equal to log 6 times 5 divided by log 2. So we have that 5x is equal to log 6 times 5, which is in the form of log a times b, which we can express as log a plus log b. So applying this logarithm property, then here we have 5x, this is equal to rog 6 divided by rog 2 plus rog 5 divided by rog 2. The next step is that we have 5x, this is equal to rog 6, which you can express as 2 times 3 divided by rog 2 plus rog 5 divided by rog 2. Now, you find that rog 2 times 3, this is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. So applying this property again, so that here we have 5x, this is equal to rog 2 <coughs> divided by rog 2 plus rog 3 divided by rog 2. Um, plus rock 5 divided by rock 2. So <coughs> let's simplify here. Rock 2 and rock 2 simplifies. So here we have 5x. This is equal to 1 plus rock 3 divided by rock 2. Then plus rock 5 divided by rock 2. The next step from here. 
rock 3 divided by rock 2 and rock 5 divided by rock 2. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. So let's apply this property. So that now, here we have 5x, this is equal to 1 plus rock 3 to base 2, then plus rock 5 to base 2. The next step from here, let's divide both signs by 5, so that now x is equal to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 log 3 to base 2 then plus 1 over 5 log 5 to base 2 but now but since 1 over 5 is common here we can express x as 1 over 5 into the bracket here 1 plus log 3 to base 2 plus log 5 to base 2 so this is the value of x so this is the value of x. Let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation by following these steps. Now let's verify that the value of x, which is 1 over 5, into the parentheses 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation. Now if you recall here, we end that 8 to power x times 4 to power x. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, essentially, let's substitute the value of x here. So here we have 8 to power 1 over 5 into the bracket here. 1 plus rho 3 to base 2 plus rho 5 to base 2 multiplied by 4 to power 1 over 5 into the bracket here 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2 now this is supposed to give us a value of that the next step from here we can express 8 as 2 to power 3 and we can express 4 as 2 to power 2 so let's substitute this so here we have this is 2 to power 3 times 1 over 5 into the parentheses 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2 multiplied by 2 to power 2 multiplied by 1 over 5 into the bracket here 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 30. So let's check if this is true. From here, we have 2 to power. Now this is the same thing as 3 over 5 into the bracket here. 1 plus rog 3 to base 2 plus rog 5 to base 2 multiplied by 2 to power. Now this is the same thing as 2 over 5 into the bracket here. 1 plus rog 3 to base 2 plus rog 5 to base 2 this is supposed to give us a value of that now from what we have here we can say let a be equal to 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2 so let's substitute this let's substitute this here so that now here we have 2 to power 3 over 5a multiplied by 2 to power 2 over 5a this should give us a value of 30. So since the bases are common here that is a to power n this is equal to a to power m since the bases are common the exponent n is equal to m so applying this exponent property then here we have 2 to power, this is 3 over 5a plus 2 over 5a. 
this is equal to 30. So essentially, 3 over 5a plus 2 over 5a, you find that the LCM here is 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1 times 3. So this is 3a plus, here we have 5 divided by 5, this is 1 times 2a, this is 2a. So that now here, we have 5a over 5. So if you simplify here, we remain with a. So essentially here, we have 2 to power a. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. But what is a? a is 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2. So here we will have 2 to power 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So 2 to power 1 plus rock 3 to base 2, this is in the form of a to power n plus m, which we can express as a to power n times a to the power m. So applying this property, then here we have 2 to the power 1 times 2 to the power rock 3 to base 2 times 2 to the power rock 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So 2 to the power rock 3 to base 2 and 2 to the power rock 5 to base 2. This is in the form of m to the power rock a to base m. This is supposed to give us a value of a. So applying this logarithm property, applying this logarithm property, then you find that 2 to power rog, 3 to base 2, this is the same thing as 3. And again, 2 to power rog, 5 to base 2, this is the same thing as 5. So let's substitute 3 and 5. So here we have 2 times 2 to the power of 3 to base 2, and this is equal to 3, so substitute 3 here, times 2 to the power of 5 to base 2, which is equal to 5, so substitute 5, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. So 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 5, this is 30, and this is equal to 30. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And that affirms that the value of x, which is equal to 1 over 5, into the parentheses 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe, please.